All right, so for today's fit tip, um, it's less about a fit tip and more about a tip for just kind of enhancing your riding. So we've been sitting a lot more since the beginning of quarantine, COVID times, and with sitting becomes a whole host of other issues. So I don't recommend just sitting um, in your less than ideal work from home setup and then hopping on the bike. There's some steps in between that you should probably take. So today we're gonna start with uh, mobilizing the TFL. The TFL is a muscle in the front of the hip and it's just not one we want to be tight or hypertonic or, or strong because the more tension in that muscle, the more tension on the IT band. Um, so if you're a cyclist that has IT band pain, listen up. All right, so the location of the TFL, we look at the front of the hip. We find this bony prominence here. It's called the ASIS, okay? And then you go just out to the, to the side of that, okay? To find it, to confirm, you internally rotate and you'll feel that muscle pop up. So that's where we want our foam roller. All right, so now we've got our foam roller and we want to find that spot. So roll the foam roller underneath the hip, roll slightly to the side, and then we're digging in. Doesn't feel that great, but it will after. All right, now that we have mobilized the soft tissue with the foam roller or the cross ball, we want to stretch the front of the hip. We'll just feel a, a lot more freedom of motion at the top of the pedal stroke, not as bunchy, um, and combined with some glute activation exercises we can talk about in our next round of tips. Um, your pedal stroke should feel a lot more efficient on the push phase especially. So uh, last or second part of this is just and then we're stretching this area and you're pushing that hip forward. So you can kind of roll away and you'll feel that a lot through here. Try to relax. So hopefully you're nice and loose at that hip and maybe you learned something. Maybe you're inspired to do your exercises. Either way, that's a win. And this took me way too many shots to make this video, but thanks for watching. Maybe you'll get another fit tip in the future.